What's up guys, welcome to Rob's house. We are not at Rob's house today. We're not at my house. We're here at DIY Garage Knoxville with the owner BK Harden. I'm proud to announce that this is the first sponsor ever on my channel. So this is super exciting. So thank you. Glad again. to do it, glad to do it. Awesome, we're gonna install the Corsa exhaust today. I promised you guys a hell of an exhaust video and you're about to get it. Uh, BK, why don't you tell anyone who's in the Knoxville area, what, what is this place, what do we do here? Well, DIY Garage is just that. It's do-it-yourself auto garage. We uh, provide the lifts, the tools, everything that you need to do the work. You come in, you rent the bays by the hour or by the day, and uh, we step back and let you uh, knock out the projects that you want to do. We're glad to be able to, to help with this and uh, hopefully put together something that will make a, a great car even better. Sweet. And uh, what's for, for anyone who's curious who's in the area, what's the pricing looking like here? If you just need a flat bay, it's $25 an hour. If you need a lift bay, it's $35 an hour. And like I said, it includes all your tools, all the equipment that's in the bay. We've got pretty much anything and everything you can think of that you might need. Sweet. Let's show these guys what we're working with today. All right, so for anyone who thinks that the Corvette doesn't have cargo space, you can fit a lot of shit in these things. Yeah, you really can. <laughs> and then I got the tips up in the uh, in the passenger seat. I kept them separate so we, so we don't damage anything. And I kind of just took some of this packaging. And kinda I've actually seen an X pipe in here too. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you could just it just goes in at an angle. Yeah. Easy. All right. So first step. So we're on the lift now. First step, we're going to remove this rear valance right here. So BK was was describing what's involved in that. We have to take the license plate off. We got bolts behind here. What else? And then there's 10 bolts underneath the bottom of the valance, as well as bolts behind both the rear reflectors. And then you have several bolts right here across the top as well. And then that whole piece will drop down. Cool. I think we should do a time lapse for that. What do you think? Yeah. All right, let's get it going. All right, the valance is off. Now we gotta remove the stock mufflers and X-pipe. It's probably actually easier to see what's going on if we look at what's gonna replace it. So these are the Corsa mufflers and the Corsa, uh, excuse me, not X-pipe, axle back pipes. Uh, and then we have the, the tips are back here. We'll put those on last. But it's basically the same design where if we get under here, we can see we got our valves for our exhaust mode settings. Behind these uh, GM mufflers are the axle back pipes that go over. So we'll unbolt the mufflers first, then we'll get under there, unbolt the axle back pipes, and then just reverse it all. So yeah, one well, of the first things we'll do is we'll we'll make sure we'll unplug all of our connections. Yeah. For our valves. Yep. And then we'll separate the two uh, muffler units. Yep. Into two separate units here. That'll allow us to pull them out individually. It makes life a lot easier. Yep. Sounds good. Let's get to it. Alright guys, stock mufflers are out, the new axle back pipes are in, see them poking out, everything's loose still. Uh, we haven't tightened anything down. We're just gonna we're gonna align everything first, get everything, get the mufflers on, get them in their brackets, blah 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 blah. So we actually have to transfer these brackets onto the new mufflers. We have to transfer the valve motors onto the new mufflers. Uh, we've got our extension tips that we got to put on. Uh, that's the adapter for the actual tip assembly so that it fits properly. And then we have our tips in here. Ooh la la. Corsa. So we'll leave all that protective film on for now. We got another hardware kit. We also do have a bolt in our hardware kit here. I don't know if you can see it that well, but it's in there. Um, that's actually the bolt that's gonna go in between our two mufflers. Uh, so this is the driver's side and that one's actually the passenger side. Uh, and then they bolt together in the middle. Uh, that bolt is what holds the two together so that they uh, so that they don't wiggle around and then all of your all four tips will line up properly and that way it'll all it'll all line up nice and neat. So I'll come and do an update once we have all that aligned and everything and then we'll put the valance back on and we'll give you some sound riffs. Thank you. 
We got our uh, valve motors installed. We've got our hangers installed. All of our clamps are installed. Now we're just gonna go and torque everything to 44 pound feet. All of the exhaust clamps, that's what Corsa's specs say to do. We're gonna do that. We'll put the rear valance back on and it's sound clip time. Guys, we're done and oh my God, it's so loud. It's so freaking loud, dude. What do you think? That, that's pretty much, a, that's just straight pipes when it's open. It looks so good, Tip. <laughs> oh, I was just driving by and I had, I'm like, damn, I didn't gotta stop here, but. Well, we just put that, that's a that's an axle bag. You wanna be in the video? Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> that's an axle bag uh, Corsa exhaust that we just put on. But it's got headers in an X-pipe already. Yeah. So. And so it's still got the stock valve, so you can still turn it down and it yeah. sounds almost normal. And then but when you open it up, you heard that. I mean, it pulled you off the street. You can't buy here one more time. <laughs> no, no, yeah, take a video. We've attracted new customers. Yeah, exactly. All right, guys, it was a success. The car sounds ridiculous now. <laughs> yeah, my ears are burning. Yeah, still. it's ridiculous. But thank you again, BK. Oh, glad this place to do is it. awesome, glad guys. To do check it. it out, DIY Garage. If you guys are in the Knoxville area, there's this is all the merch. They got a lot of different stuff here. We got four bays. Two, two of them have lifts. Yeah, two of them have lifts. This place is awesome, man. Yeah, thank you. We'll, thank you. we'll definitely be back. Oh. Definitely. We can always find something to do. Sick, man. Awesome. Thanks again. For everyone else, hope this video was helpful. I'll see you guys next time.